So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be running our application on Android and iOS. Now it's all fun and cool um, that you're running your Ionic application. It's fine on the web browser, but the thing is you eventually need to run it natively, right? So you want to check from time to time that all of your functionalities which are working and looking fine in the browser are being actually correctly copied as it is inside the native world as well. So in the last video, we set up capacitor for that, for adding Android and iOS build systems. Now in this video, let's just go ahead and launch npx cap open iOS. Now this is going to launch Xcode. And if you're not on Mac OS, then you can't really do much. So yeah, this is only for guys who are on Mac OS. For Windows guys and, on for, and for Linux guys, you can make use of Android builds. So I'm just going to show you that as well in a minute. So meanwhile, let's just, let's just go ahead and hit, uh, let's just change this to iPhone 11 and let's just hit the build button. Meanwhile, it's building. I'm just going to go ahead and say NPX. And in fact, actually before that, let me just go ahead and open Android Studio. Now, if you do not have Android Studio, just go ahead, Google it, download it. It's simple uh, installer instructions. So I'm just going to go ahead, go to configure avd manager if you see a device here it's okay if you do not see a device here you want to create a new device by creating a create virtual device button here and you'll be good to go so i'm gonna go ahead already i already have a device so i'm just gonna start the avd so it starts the avd like this and you're seeing just a demo preview from my code dam application rather so there's that and there's that right so let's just go ahead and ignore that so you see that for our ionic thing on ios we get our hello world and for android so again for android as well i'm just going to say npx cap open android which is going to launch android studio for us now typically um you would want a powerful system to handle both android studio and xcode builds together so i would really really not recommend like launching the simulator, both of the simulators, their IDEs, plus the browser as well, all at the same time, right? You should not really do that. But yeah, if you wish to for a bunch of times, it's okay, I guess, right? So I'm just gonna let it sync. Okay, so because I have not updated my Android Studio in years, that is why I get this error that Android Studio cannot open this project. Please try a recent one. So you probably won't get that error and you would be able to start it from the Android Studio button itself, but I'm just gonna skip this. So I'm just gonna skip the Android thing, but what you should be able to do, I'll update Android Studio later on and then I would be able to build that. But you should be able to, you know, just select your emulator right here and press this play button right here, which I cannot at the moment. And you should get your app just like you got on iOS, right? And one thing I wanted to show you is that our application right here, it actually supports both dark mode and light mode, right? So if I go ahead, and I don't know why this is blank, might be a bug mostly, but if I go ahead and uh, let's just go to settings and manually switch it to dark mode. And it's a shame that I own an iPhone, but I don't know exactly how do you do that but let's see that is super weird there we go all right so now we have dark appearance with us and if i go back to the app you can see it automatically turns black right just like you would have on the uh, ionic window that is your local host 8100 right and if you just go to inspect and choose a device here and choose an iPhone 10 refresh, you're going to pretty much get the same thing you will get on an actual iOS device, right? So in most of the cases, it's just fine to create your application right inside the browser itself and then deploy it once you're done. Just test it on the real device once you're done. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing um, in this uh, basic series. We'll be taking a look at the iOS and Android versions from time to time so that we do not really, you know, drift away from the native world. 
but more or less it would be consistent, right? So yeah, that's the advantage of using browser technologies. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one really soon.